how's it going everyone welcome back to another video today we will be installing a PSP emulator on the Xbox one now this only works in dev mode so if you don't know what that is or you don't have it yet you can do a simple Google search and find all the information you need on how to get your Xbox one activated in dev mode now I'm sorry I will not be showing that process on this video today strictly for time purposes so if you already have it like I do then you're good to go so if you notice under games and apps I do not have the emulator already installed that is because the process is step by step that I like to do is we start from scratch together and we do the process all the way to the end where we finish off with having our emulator installed in our in our Xbox one together so with that being said the first thing I want to do is connect my Xbox one to my web browser using the device portal so I'm gonna go ahead and switch to my desktop view and if you look right here I'm already in my web browser already connected to my device portal like so right here on the side I have the PSP zip file this zip file will be in a link down below and this link will go to my middle fire I would suggest that you download from this link because there's different versions out there and it might work for you still but it might not but if you download from my link you will at least know that you're using the same file as I am that way this process continues to be us doing everything together the same way so after you download the zip file you would create a folder like I did drag your zip file into here and then we would uh, use whatever software you have to extract so right click on it and click on your software so mine is WinZip that's what I like to use and extract it here there's also a 7-zip which is more common and it's also free and it does the same thing so I'm gonna use my WinZip and I'm gonna do extract to here and here is your file down here is where you're gonna have your USB so you will be booting up your games through USB uh, unfortunately I will not be able to show you how to get these ROMs however if you do another simple Google search you can just search the game that you're looking for PSP ROM and there's a lot of uh, websites where you can find whatever you're looking for but today I'm gonna be showing with emulator the Kingdom Hearts and Grand Theft Auto and I'll explain why uh, I'm doing these two different ones as we go along make sure your USB is also a sizable uh, size because I'm using a 4 gig and I was only able to put two games so now that you have your file here just go ahead and click on add on your device portal and it says we're here drop package file here so you're just gonna just simply just drag and drop right here click next and start it's a small file so it should upload really fast and if everything goes well it should say right there package successfully registered I click done you notice right here your PSP emulator is already inside your Xbox so if you look on your Xbox screen you would have your PSP already there so for the rest of this process I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to switch back to my Xbox one and show you from the rest of this process so here we are back in our Xbox one and you can see that the PSP emulator is already on I'm going to put my USB in so that way we can try the games out when we're ready. And let's go ahead and click into it. And this is called PPSSPP. This is the PSP emulator. Now, as far as the screen goes, it is smaller on my screen. I don't know if that's because the games, if it was expanded, the games would be more choppy or pixelated. So. Uh, you can mess with the settings there is a full screen tab but I think when I tried it it still stayed the same as this little square bar so if that doesn't bother you you can just go ahead and and go into load and here under load you would find your USB and look for the file that you made and let's go ahead and try Kingdom Hearts okay go ahead and click OK we have no data so we're gonna go ahead and click on yes so it can create a new save state and let's check it out
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, click on it so that way it can show the button configuration on your Xbox One is already mapped, so you don't have to worry about doing that. And I have function with my Xbox One controller, and I can mess around and do what I want with. Well, I can start the game. That's what I meant to say. I'm gonna I'm gonna put one of my back triggers, the left trigger, and this is will show your save state where you can load your games. But I'm gonna uh, change your settings. But I'm gonna go exit to menu so that way we can try the the Grand Theft Auto. Now the Grand Theft Auto I have, I don't know if it's just the file, but it's very laggy, and the gameplay will be good for a moment, and then it'll get real laggy. So you would might want to just consider the games that you try, uh, try them all out. Maybe it's just a file that I got, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and let's just jump right into it. Just want to show you that it's working. So there you go guys, uh, it's working just fine on my screen, on my Xbox One I mean, and I hope it works for you as well. If you come across any issues, any problems, uh, please let me know. Uh, uh, unfortunately a lot of people experience this differently and sometimes it still fails in this process even though it worked for me just fine. But I do keep up to date with my comments. So if you wanna, if you have any issues, let me know, and I'll try my best to troubleshoot with you. Also, if you wanna talk to me faster, you can look at one of my social media accounts. I do have my Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter. Just comment down below and tell me I messaged you on your social media on this one on Instagram, and we can talk more live there if you have any issues. Uh, you can also follow me there. That's up to you. Um, if you like this video, a thumbs up is appreciated. If you like this content, I do cover other things such as the retro arch on here where you can have multiple emulators in one. I only didn't do it on uh, with the PSP because there's no PSP core for that retro arch file that I have. So I want to install it directly to the Xbox One. Uh, I also cover other things. So if you like the content, a subscribe would be appreciated. Uh, also, if it worked for you, let me know. I'd like to know that it worked for you as well. But as for everything goes, everything went smoothly. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.